Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Super Metroid Volta in this criteria area. And I was actually expecting something else to happen here, but I guess we shall see it later on. Get all these guys out of the way and get this missile. So there is actually quite a bit to do in here. This area is actually quite large from what I remember. So this should be interesting. And actually, since I got a grapple beam back there, I wonder what's in that one room. In this room, seriously. Very, very familiar. All that fun stuff. Oh, here we go. Hey, look at the sunset. It's a pretty neat effect. It's got a nice little washed out palette. And because a lot of these rooms are built into, are built as caves, only some rooms needed room states. So that's nice. And I think there is something over. Yes. Change it around a little bit, but I guess. It's the way. And more stuff. And I probably shouldn't have frozen this guy as well. Just running through a bright sky. That is interesting. Come back to that in a little bit. That is one long speed boost path that was. You. You know, you really don't see that in any hacks. It's like really long speed boost paths. Paths. Hmm. What's this stuff up here? Get up to this guy, do a small platforming. Then, is there anything up here? This looks like, and that was brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I don't want that one, I want the other one. This one, this works much better. But yeah, you really don't see much speed booster stuff beyond the normal I'm going to hmm but you don't see my speed booster beyond oh hey here's a wall here's the path that's just long enough for you to be able to speed boost and that <laughs> okay first things first make sure to grapple on things to at least be looking at it Speed boost is kind of underused in that sense. Like, not used as much as the tool to get around faster. It's used as a tool to break down an obstacle, and now I can advance. Actually, do I even. I don't need that guy at all. What do we have up here? This is. New. Oh, hi. Hello, background. That thing is very... Hmm. So I'm not dealing with that guy. Quite yet. Ouch. Just fall on top of his head. <laughs> so what's up here? There's a door down there. So, another pirate. And a locked door! I'm guessing I have to destroy all the pirates to open. Nope, okay. Just, just had to check.
and hmm, more power bombs. And this is. Well, that is interesting. Oh, power bombs, okay. I could definitely use some more of these. I like that he dropped the caterpillars just over there. This. Oh. Makes you use it right away. Is, I wouldn't say it's an overlook, but oftentimes when you have enemies like this where you don't want the player to be able to hurt them or whatever, to have a specific beam or something, and power bombs won't work, of course. But oftentimes the Shine Spark Echoes will work on a lot of enemies. And they are so. I believe they are the strongest attack you have is actual echoes coming off the shine spark so I do not believe there's an enemy that can actually withstand them if they're hurt by them I may be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's very accurate <laughs> that sounded amazing. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Yeah. Words that inspire confidence. That one's not one. Oh, is this that thing? Yes, it is. This is an interesting little thing in Majigger. I like how it looks with the guys. Files, multi files, whatever they are. With them just going around on that and in sequence. It's pretty. See, and you don't really see much of that in Super Metroid X either. Of course, it really isn't much purpose for it, but it's still interesting to see. Oh, hi. Missile. Oh. Okay, I'm down here now. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Come here. Thank you. And this thing is actually... Okay. Still a missile here. That was not an explosion. That's a little bit better. See, so yeah, a random thing hanging up on the ceiling. Looks out of place. Something's there. It's a good little reward for looking at something that's very odd. Pretty sure I know what that stuff is, so I should probably go and get that now, because I believe that's Boost Ball. Oh. Ninja Pirates. Everybody loves Ninja Pirates. Why not? And I don't even have to deal with them. I don't know exactly why they're there if I could just go right around and skip them. Although I guess this... This... No, okay. I guess it's probably just a preconceived idea because of how they're used everywhere else. You don't have to use things like... They always are used because then there's no real interest in it. Hmm, even more strange pirates. I wonder. I wonder. No. Well... Poo. I was hoping that would work. Kinda one of those power bombs. Some weird elevator over there. Not sure about that thing. Shall we? There we go. This orc.
it, <laughs> wild genius, it would help if you did it in the right direction. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got power bombs. Hooray for that and other things. We'll worry about over there later. Got power bombs. So that works. I, ouch. It's a good thing I went and got my little freezy beam. Nobody really likes you, so... What exactly is that pirate doing just standing on top of that platform anyways? Like, oh, I'm patrolling, yeah. Three tiles. Not much of a patrol area. See, I kind of like the balance with the items in this and that. There's quite a few that are just placed out in the open. You can get them easy. There are these little one-by-one -one item rooms. And there are items out in the open that are easy to get, but you need to use, like, a power bomb right there. And the speed boosts and blocks in the one tunnel. There's nothing wrong with having quite a few of those. And still having a lot of hidden items as well. In fact, I recommend having a good balance of that. And depending on what you prefer the hack to be more like, you can go more toward the out in the open, or more toward the hidden one, the hidden side. Another thing about I remember, blah, blah, that I remember about Fire Phoenix is that he not only does he like crate fights, he also doesn't like when people make spore spawn, like raise the floor in his room to make him impossible to miss. So obviously that dislike of that quote-unquote feature. What helped him design this room around so that you can go move pretty freely? And you have a lot of health for a plant. You have a whole lot of health for a plant. For a plant in a cave. Exactly. I guess it doesn't really need to. The bioengineering plant it probably doesn't need photosynthesis and all that fun stuff. Whatever alien plants use, but. Still. Where did you get all this? Oh my goodness. This is one healthy plant it was. And actually, speaking of sports pun, there we go. I was not going to tell you the idea, but it was recently an interesting idea that I look forward to seeing in a hack someday with sports pun. It would be very neat. Okay, and this crumble block bridge, you can't get over it except with boost ball, which we have here. This is the one ASM thing in the entire hack. Everything else is vanilla. So now here becomes the sort of, I guess, not really an issue. Boost ball is fun to have, sure. However, what... You know, how useful is it in the hack is determined by how you build the hack. Like, obviously, I beat a boss. Now I have a boost ball. The bridge showed me, hey, this is what you use it for. You can get across these bridges like this. 
so now we know the use for it. And now it's just a matter of how much do we actually use that in the course of the hack. It'd be like having missiles. Oh hey, here's a missile door. Or an enemy that can only be hurt with missiles. And then having that only... We could have that only one other place in the entire hack where they need to use it to advance. Or use it a little bit more frequently and make it a little bit more useful. You don't have to spam like crumble block bridges all over the place. But... Just a few little extra things that utilize the boost ball make it more useful and less like a glorified extra item or something like that and more supers I always like this room it's a good room I think I just like the colorful plants in the water Oh, hey, this is the landing site. Because this used to be space orbiting right here. I'm pretty sure about that. And actually, since it is the landing site, I think I'll stop it off in here once I get to the ship. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Here we are back here. A wonderful sunset. So, thanks for watching, and we'll continue this on in the next video because there's still some more to explore and look around. Not quite sure how much more is left, but we'll discover that. I know there's some places I can go still, so we will see you in for that in the next video.